What's up YouTube, it's Robo13 and today I'm going to show you how to get SB settings which is a uh, very cool feature in Cydia. It's like a tweak um, that you can get for all your devices. Um, you have to be jailbroken so if you don't know how to jailbreak I'll post a, a little link right here where you can click on it and uh, you can go see how to jailbreak the 4.3.3 uh, firmware. Uh, it's Jailbreaking is how you get Cydia which is that little app down there and that's what you need to get uh, SB settings. So once you jailbreak, come on back and then you can see this video. For, but for those of you who are already jailbroken, uh, go ahead and click on Cydia. Let it load. Alright, when it turns on, just like that, click on search. Go up to here. You don't even have to add any sources or anything like that. It's already in the Big Boss uh, repo, so you already have that. Click on SB settings. Just like that, all one word, should be the very top thing. Click on that, this will pop up, let it load all the way. All right, click install. It'll add all these things, click confirm, let it install. Okay, um, click on reboot device. And you don't have to worry about it uh, never turning back on because uh, my video was an untethered jailbreak so when you watch my video and follow what I did it's untethered so you, you can be able to turn it off and turn it back on and you won't have to worry about having to rerun a program or anything like that um, so once this reboots I will come back okay and now once your uh, device reboots you can just slide to unlock and you won't have an app for it because it's not technically an app so but to get it to work you take your finger and you slide across the status bar and then you'll get this and this is what SP settings looks like. Um, it's like a little drop down menu from the top and it allows you to do a bunch of cool different things. So you see you have airplane mode, brightness, fast notes, processes, Wi-Fi. Uh, you have more, refresh, dock, respring and power. If you click power, it'll turn it off. Respring, it'll restart your iPod. Dock, I'll show you guys how to use dock in a second. Um, it brings up a bunch that you can put up to four apps. Actually. You can put a bunch of apps in here and then you can have them uh, stayed in there. Uh, refresh also just refreshes the thing and more will bring you to a bunch of more options. So I'm going to show you what to do with that right now. Click on more and it will bring you to this type of page. It will give you a bunch of different options. Um, start from the very top. Set toggles. What you saw from the beginning, these toggles right here, um, you can change them from here. So say you wanted to have Bluetooth, you didn't want airplane, so you want data, not brightness, uh, 3G, you just have to hit the ones that you want, uh, location, and turn off fast notes, all right? So you turn on the ones that you want to have, click the home button, it'll respring, all right? Then you just come over here, slide to unlock, scroll across the top to bring it back up, and now you have the ones that you chose. Now you have Bluetooth, data, location, processes, and Wi-Fi. Um, they're really cool. You just click them, and they turn on. Click them again, they turn off. So they're really quick. They're like, say if you're about to leave your house with your iPod, and you don't want Wi-Fi on to drain your battery, slide across, hit Wi-Fi, click X, and you're good. It turns it off right away. You don't have to go through settings or anything like that. It's just really quick, really nice, and really simple. <clears throat> All right, and the next thing, go back to more. The next thing is activation methods. So this is a different way on how to get uh, the bar to drop down. Say you can't really understand how to get it to work with this or if you don't get it every time and you want to try something different, uh, you can do a bunch of different things. Say you wanted to, uh, so right here, if you shake the device, there's a bunch of different ones, but to say you wanted to shake the device to have SP settings come up. So now you, click, you check it, click the home button, scroll across again, hit respring, It'll restart your iPod. Okay, slide to unlock. And now you can also you can set it. You can still uh, open it up that way. But now since you did shake, now if you take your iPod and shake it, it'll pop up like that. See? Shake it again. It'll come down. So that's a very cool way to do it. Uh, there's a bunch of different activation methods that you can do. Uh, you can play with it a little bit, figure out which ones you like the best. Uh, the next one is SB settings themes. So there's a bunch of different ones. There's default, HUD, 
this default HUD series uh, HD tech shadows and tetanus matte. There's a bunch of different ones you can choose from anyone you want. I'll just show you an example right now. I click it, make sure it's checked. Come back down, hit the home button. It'll uh, close out, it'll respring. And then when it uh, boots back up, slide to unlock. And now, I'll open it up this way. Now when you open it up, it's in a different type of theme. See, everything's changed. You can download a bunch of different themes through Cydia. Uh, just go and type in SB Settings Themes um, into Cydia and you'll find a bunch of different ones. I don't really like this one, so I'm just going to change it back to the regular uh, after all that. But now if you go to the next one is SB Settings Options. Let's click on that. You'll have uh, a bunch of different ones you can check. Uh, you can have the date in the status bar, the, how much memory you have left in the status bar. Uh, you can change the time format. You can do a bunch of different things in here. I don't really mess with this too much because I don't use any of them. Uh, but you can check whatever ones you want. Next one is Dock Applications. This is the one that I showed you guys before. Uh, with with the dock, if you click the dock and those those icons pop up, um, you can set one, which ones you want. So say you don't want any of these. You only want uh, camera, contacts, and FaceTime to be in the dock. So just check the ones you want, click the home button, it'll bring you back, it'll respring once again. Just say slide to unlock, slide that, activate it, click on dock, and now you'll have the three apps that you wanted to have in there. FaceTime, camera, and contacts, all right? So you can, you can play around with that more, um, and you can show whatever apps you want to show on your home screen. Also, when you put it in the dock, it gets rid of it on your home screen, see? So the calendar... Or the uh, the contacts, FaceTime, and camera are all gone, so they're only in the docs. It, it kind of hides them from uh, other people. So we slide to one, slide that again. Open up more. Uh, and the next one is hide icons. This one is pretty cool. It actually hides the icons itself. <clears throat> so say you wanted to hide the uh, calculator, click off. Say I want to have the app store, the calculator, and the calendar. Click off on all of them, and then click the home button. When off means that they get hidden. So now, see that you can see it uh, just revert, and now they're all disappeared, and now they're gone. So you can't even see them, you can't even use them. But if you go into here and say you want to use it, type in app store, you can use it right there. So if you want to hide the apps from people, you can click on that, and then nobody will have, will ever be able to see it, um, which is another cool feature. So go back into more. Next one is uh, mobile substrate add-ons. There's not much you can do with that unless you really know what you're doing with it. It even tells you uh, not to mess with it in that red warning, warning, warning. So I would just stay away from that if I were you. Uh, there's no point. System options is pretty cool. So these are all very cool. Um, you, so if you have numeric battery, you can see that the uh, percentage up there turns off and turns on. I like having it on because I know exactly how much is left. Uh, numeric Wi-Fi is pretty cool. If you have that on, it'll show the Wi-Fi as a number instead of just bars. Uh, uh, GSM and kill switch you don't really have to worry about. And delete carrier name is pretty cool. As you can tell right now, I don't have a iPod symbol up there. It's because it's off. Hit the home button. It'll respring. And now it's back. See? iPod. Slide to unlock. And it's, uh, there's a bunch of cool things you can do with it, obviously. So you can just mess around with it, a bunch of the settings. I can't hit this more button. There we go. You can mess with all the settings and figure out what you like to use it with. Um, but one of the coolest things that comes with uh, SP Settings is this application called Activator. Um, so to get to it, you click on Settings, scroll down to Activator right there. Click on Activator. And now this is how you can activate certain applications or certain things within the iPod or the iPhone or the iPad by doing different things. So say I wanted to, I'll go to anywhere. So these these are what they mean. It means when you're at the home screen, this will happen. When you're in an application, this will happen. When you're at the lock screen, this will happen. All right, but I want to click on anywhere. So anywhere I am, if I, let's say if I, uh, Double tap the status bar. I want. I want iTunes to open up. Okay. 
So it, it kind of goes through it. It says, where, anywhere I am, if I double tap the status bar, I want iTunes to open up. So now you hit the home button. Open up SP settings, click respring. Have it respring. I'm gonna open it up. Now if I double click the status bar, I don't have Wi-Fi on, so it might not open up all the way, but iTunes opens up, see? iTunes store, and it can't connect because I don't have Wi-Fi on. But, very, very cool. Again, double tap the status bar, iTunes opens up. There's a bunch of cool things you can do with it. You can have it set so that when you uh, when you hit the power up, or when you hit the volume up, it uh, changes your song, or something like that. If you double click the, if you triple click the home button, it'll open up Safari. You can have it do really cool things. Say if you have a, a Twitter and you want it to open up anytime you hit the, the lock button three times, hit it the lock button three times and Twitter will open up. Uh, take some messing around with it, but once you figure it out, uh, you can do really cool things with your iPod or your iPhone or your iPad, all right? So you guys have any questions, just send me a comment or send me a message and I'll, I'll uh, get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please, please, please click the like button. Uh, it helps me out a ton. I've had a bunch of comments on other videos about how to use SP settings and that kind of stuff. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Um, if you are subscribed to me, thank you very much. You guys have been helping me so much. If you are not subscribed to me, then uh, uh, click on the subscribe button up top or go to my channel and click on subscribe button and so you can get the new videos that I post uh, right away. Um, it helps me out a ton. And make sure you guys comment on the video below and let me know what you think. Uh, just Stay tuned for new videos that will be coming out very soon. Uh, thank you guys for supporting me so much, and I'll see you guys next time, all right? Thanks, guys.